And so we come to the tail. Um, both the tail fin and the tail plane are uh, quite simple really, even though there are all these little parts that make them up. But the thing is, the uh, tail uh, surface, the, the, the stabilizer, sits on top of the, um, of the sta tail fin and so the tail fin has to be quite strong but at the same time it's not supposed to be very heavy so what they do is they give us uh, a lot of small parts that we glue together to make a really strong structure let's have a look at this the first thing we're going to do is to glue together these two parts that make up the outer skin of the tail fin uh, if there are any imperfections in the uh, in the edges we just sand them away first but since there are not in this case I just put this down and I use uh, like uh, clear tape like this why clear tape why not just painters tape or something well because uh, the glue that I'm going to go to use uh, can glue parts of the painter's tape f stuck to the parts and I don't want that. The clear tape always comes off. The glue that I'm using is uh, medium thick CA glue. I just put a little bead between the edges like this and when I put it down some of the glue is going to come out so I use a tissue to wipe it away and then immediately use sandpaper what this does is that the uh, sawdust from the sandpaper will go down into um, if there are any crevices between the two plates and uh, form a fillet. In this case uh, not a lot. Now turn it around take off the tape and give it a light sanding. And there you have a very strong and very neat joint between these two plates. Now I'm putting together the, um, the tail fin. Here's the outer skin and here's the inner core. And this has to be glued in here along with this part here, T2 that uh, is placed there. Now I want to use a glue that doesn't harden immediately like this one. Uh, it gives me a little bit of working time but the problem with this is that uh, the base of the glue is water and when water starts to enter the balsa um, it starts to warp so I want to do something to keep it from warping like uh, putting heavy weights on it now underneath T1 is T2 and it has to be glued in as well And it has to be placed in such a way that you, you can uh, slide this tube in. So there has to be room for this tube to go in there afterwards. Here, there we are. There's also a ledge here at the uh, at the at the rear because this bit here, T9, uh, has to sit there. And so there's 
this will have to dry. Okay, let's uh, see how this has done. Uh, it's had a night to get dry and it seems to be fairly fairly flat. Next step is to take this um, little stick T9 and put it in there but we'll have to cut it um, both here and here because the push rod has to go through here. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to uh, take this line here and carry it on through the stick and uh, see how it fits. Now I'm going to take this part here and glue it down there. Um, so I'm just putting glue on this. Now this will have to dry before I start sanding it. Now the tail fin has been under pressure for a while and it's gone quite dry. So the next thing is to round off the front and the back. Uh, if you measure by the drawing, the, the rounding uh, begins about 20 millimeters in. So we just measure about 20 millimeters in, and then we make a very faint line like this, and this is where our rounding will come. Um, also, in the front, it's very easy to see where the center is, but in the back uh, we can just make a, a line to go to. So how do we how to begin? Well we begin with a balsa plane. There we are. This has now been uh, rounded off. Um, it's well rounded here in the front using just a piece of sandpaper and in the back. Um, I don't know how much I can round this off because uh, this is going to be the end of the, the fuselage. Um, and uh, um, <clears throat> when we come to gluing this down into the fuselage, uh, this will be probably be rounded off um, there. Now, <clears throat> um, 
now this is uh, just about ready for um, for the plastic covering and just to be certain I'm going to see if I can take this um, outer sleeve for the bouge rod and uh, push it into the um, the fin and haha look at that comes through quite easily so now we know that this is going to be uh, okay yeah Listen. the next step is to take the tailplane T6 and glue two ends to it T5 on either side uh, these ends are uh, rounded and they actually prevent the tailplane from warping. It's always good to have cross-grained ends like this. Now I'm going to glue it on with some thick CA glue and I'm going to use uh, a, a clear tape just like I did when I glued together the skins for the um, tail fin. The last thing to do with this uh, T6 tailplane is to round the front uh, because it's only three millimeters. There's not a lot to do actually. Uh, the only thing we have to use is some sandpaper like this, and uh, we scrunch it together and then just rub it uh, uh, along the leading edge holding it down and it will make the roundup for us automatically. Also because this is laser cut you can see how the black uh, suit slowly disappears while you're rounding it off. there that's it here we have the um, elevator and uh, when we put the elevator against the uh, tailplane it, we can see that it sticks out on either side about a millimeter or even less than that so we can just take a knife and cut this little wedge away until it carries on the line. Then we can use our sandpaper to round off this end as well. We also have to round off the um, the trailing edge of the elevator. So now the instructions tell us to camfer the leading edge of the elevator, and then the plans show us uh, four uh, hinges which actually uh, are included in the kit but I don't really want to do that I don't want to put hinges in something that is only three millimeters thick what I want to do and I'm going to do is I'm going to take not a double camphor but a single one and then I'm going to use the um, the covering film to attach the uh, the elevators. I'll show you how to do that.
Here you can see how the elevator is going to uh, be attached on the back of the uh, elevator with the covering film and it will be able to move.